I just want to take you on a journey, a ragtastic journey of the music that shaped my taste, of the music that robbed me of my innocence, of the music that makes me who I am today. I grew up on my mom's music, my mom listening to the music in the car. The biggest, most painful lesson I ever learned was to never touch my mother's radio, never to change the station. And my mom used to have this rule that for every one song we got to listen to on the radio, she got three songs. So we were kind of stuck listening to her music, but I still couldn't listen to CDs with parental advisory. So I had to sneak. And by sneaking, I used to do those Columbia Records deal where you get 12 CDs for a penny. And that's when I got my first parental advisory CD, my biggest crush, Mace. Pointing forehead, slow talking Mace. Then when I got to college, I was making content and the first content that I made was a freestyle music video with my friends called Fuck You Bitch. Me and my friends had been listening to Lil' Kim, obviously Trina, Foxy. This was pre-Nicki Minaj, this was pre-Cardi. And we also made up a song called Nani Pop. And I'm not trying to accuse Cardi of stealing, but she stole that from us. For Insecure, I always said, you know, my mantra was the show could be shit, but the music was gonna be fire. And it was all about, it's all about showcasing LA. It's all about showcasing female artists and it's all about showcasing independent artists. And so that's our mandate. If it's not one of those three, then we're not fully checking for it, but it's such an important part of storytelling for me. If, if you do it right, it can make or break a project. 